welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing our friends at FaveDiets.com how to transform a bit of leftover ham into a hearty pot of split pan ham soup. This is a great way to utilize some leftover ham in your meal while still being able to kick up the overall nutritional value of the dish. I mean, let's face it, ham isn't on anyone's list as a health food. But when it's used more like a condiment or flavoring agent, and surrounded by much healthier ingredients like the split peas and veggies, this becomes a dish that you can feel good about serving. But the best part about this one is that the whole thing is done in a slow cooker, so you can just load it up and go about your business, and before you know it, you'll have an awesome meal. I'm using a 5 quart round crock pot today, but an oval shaped pot would work as well as long as it has at least a 5 quart capacity to house all the ingredients that I've included in this recipe. All right, now the ingredients we'll need to make this are one large onion, two carrots, two stalks of celery, all diced, two cloves of garlic minced, two large potatoes diced. I know you only see one in the picture, but at the last minute I had a change of heart and added another. One pound of split peas, rinsed, drained, and sorted. 8 cups of chicken broth or chicken stock, make sure it's gluten free, 1 pound of ham diced, 2 bay leaves, 1 tablespoon of olive oil, and some salt and pepper to taste. Alright, now first toss all of the diced veggies into the crock pot and stir them with a tablespoon of olive oil so that they're all lightly coated. Add the split peas and chicken broth or stock to the pot along with the bay leaves. You could also add some salt and pepper to taste here, depending on how seasoned your broth is. Give it a quick stir, then add the ham to the center of the pot and cover it up. At this point, you'll need to cook it on high for six to seven hours, or you could cook it on low for 10 to 11 hours. When the soup is finished, it won't look properly thickened yet until it's been stirred for a few minutes. Don't forget to fish out those bay leaves. I served mine with some toasted gluten-free bread a little sour cream, and a few sliced scallions for added fresh flavor. Greek yogurt would also work well here. Also, if you'd like your soup to have a smoother consistency versus the way I'm serving it here today, you can always use an immersion blender and blend the soup until it's reached the desired consistency of your choice. I really hope you'll give this one a try the next time you've got some leftover ham lingering in the fridge. And if you'd like to see the recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for more free healthy recipes and tips for virtually any diet, visit my friends at favediets.com. See you again soon.